question of the day. So if you don't wear, buy underwear at the thrift store, which I never recommend, do you buy pantyhose at the thrift store? Because some women wear pantyhose without underwear. And if you do buy pantyhose, do you only buy them brand new? What do you do? I am here at Savers on Half Off Monday, and it's about three o'clock in the afternoon, four o'clock in the afternoon, and I hope there's anything left. I got myself a new camera tripod thing, but it's gonna wrap around the cart like a little octopus, so I'm excited. Hopefully we get some better screenshots that way and you can see more instead of just some of my shots from the, the past. It's just like from me here down and yeah, not as appealing as being able to see the clothes. So here we go. My sister and I are doing a swap. So for Valentine's Day, we're doing pretty little things. So our amount that we're only allowed to spend on each other, it is $20 and it has to be secondhand and the little things, each little thing has to be smaller than your fist. So $20 to buy, the theme is pretty little things for our Valentine's Day swap. And then I'm also gonna do a tablescape because I'm gonna make my family a Valentine's dinner. So we're gonna do, not really a romantic dinner, but try to find a theme. So we're gonna do a tablescape. So today we're shopping for pretty little things and a Valentine's Day tablescape. So here we go. Find the price on that one. Little guy. Totally bummed this has a little chip right there. I love little snow babies. I, I don't know what to think of this guy, but his tail fell off. That's a bummer. Hate when I lose my arse. <laughs> Speaking of arses, you know I'm not gonna cuss, so children approve, but you know what I'm talking about. Holding baby Jesus in a hemlock, that's an interesting one. sister likes things like this. This is adorable. See, this whole thing just gives me an excuse to buy her stuff that I want to buy her. There we go. Oh my god, this is so cute. It's coming home with me. Let's see. So we got that. Look at this. I have a full cart. I'm thinking this thing, I'm just going to spray paint. It's really heavy and I don't like this 80s look, but I'm totally going to turn it into like bronze or something what else we got this is so fun you guys look at this guy look at this whole pumpkin set here yay oh god i have one of these is that like a cheese cover oh, oh my god i'm so excited yikes that's awesome look at this little guy he's so festive done Done. You guys, I need another cart. So the tchotchkes are paying out. So my daughter is totally into just like playing little dollhouse right now. So I got a bunch of little things in there. And so I see this, I can't tell. I think it's like a collector's coin, but I'm all about this little Ohio State because I'm an alum. And then, of course, this guy, because when you find a shovel, bottle opener, that is the strangest thing ever, you just get it, because you'll figure out a way to use it, or gift it, or make a gag gift. That's just bizarre. And then my nieces are totally into plur friendship beads right now, so these can get pretty expensive, especially when all the different colors so there we go that'll be fun for them yay best hand ever this is one of those things that if you find it 
you just buy it because you're gonna find somebody to give it to. If not, just use it yourself. Oh my God, it's so cute. <laughs> For what's gonna be $1.50, done. Just another jackpot find, look at that. It is one of those mermaid blankets. My daughter's gonna love it. And then this is perfect. I'm not huge into aprons, but this one says, will cook four shoes. My two favorite things in one apron. That's adorable. All right, I'm all fogging up. I'm all done. You gotta see this. All right, $200 haul, because it was a half off day. Look at this, look at this, look at this, look at this. The entire cart, plus three bags. And thankfully, I bought a bunch of scarves, so they actually worked to wrap all the glass up so it didn't break on my way home. Crazy great stuff. I'm so excited. So, I've been binge watching where I can the Bridgertons. Oh my god, it's so fun. It's just the fashion, which I don't know if it's on point or not, but it's so fun. And I love a period piece soap opera, essentially. I don't know. It's so fun. Anyways, I went to Savers this week and the whole purpose was to find something for my sister for a Valentine's Day gift and to also find some tablescape stuff for my family when it comes to our Valentine's Day dinner that I'm doing for them. But I may have been more lucky than that. So all the things that I got for my sister will not be in this haul because it's got to be a surprise. You got to wait until Valentine's Day week. And all this stuff that would be on the tablescape, you also got to wait for because that also has to be a surprise because it's kind of a surprise to me too because I don't know what's going on there. Coffee talk! Anyways, I'm going to share with you all the rest of my haul. I had so much fun. I think I spent, I spent $200. It was a big haul between all this stuff for my sister, which I was only supposed to spend 20 bucks. So essentially I'm going to have to figure out what I want to give to her and then all the rest I'm going to keep for myself. But then that goes into the budget of all the things for my house that I have to eventually decorate my house that we end up buying on a budget. So there's a place for everything financially. That's how we end up being frugal. Um, but anyways, so let's start out with the clothes. Now, I like to shop seasonally within the season that we're in because I don't have room and I don't like having too much clutter to store too many things between each season. I know some people have capsule pieces and all that kind of stuff. I don't have time for that kind of stuff. Like, Black dress, black, you know, get the common, like, black stuff, the common tan stuff, and then we rotate it out. And yes, I don't need, like I've had before, like, 15 black plain skirts. Only need a few great ones. But, point being, if I find something that's not in the season we're in, I'm still going to buy it of certain things, such as linen pants that are long enough for me. Now, I'm 5'9", so when I find linen pants that I can sit on my hips that are long enough for me that still kind of almost touch the ground when I wear flat sandals, that's awesome because they're really hard to find with a good price. Now, for 2 to $3, when I find them, and these had brand new tags on them before I washed them, um, I'm going to purchase them. I don't know about this brand, to tell you the truth, don't care if it's a big brand um, because they're great. Uh, it's got the elastic, it's got the drawstring in front, um, nice little button. They might actually be men's pants. Don't care. They're awesome. So we're going to hold off on those for summer. That's my storage. That's my summer storage that I'll just went into because winter storage goes on the racks right now. I have done really good thrifting since I moved to Ohio. So I have to like reorganize and repack everything because what was just stuff from our old house has now become all of Crystal's stuff she bought at the thrift store. Although awesome, it's getting to be a lot. So I need to reorganize. So for right now, that'll go there until it goes in its proper place after I do this video. 
Anyways, found a update. I call it the updated grandma sweater, right? So it's the grandma sweater, but it's totally something I would wear. It's got a little bling on it, got the ombre look, got the buttons down the side. Um, I suppose I could button it up and just kind of use it as a slouch, but really pretty. Even has the shoulder pads, no, um, no name tag on it or anything. So it'll just be awesome. Now, I don't think people who were tagging these knew that halogen, halogen pants can be expensive. I found vintage Liz Claiborne well, ugh, wool pants. Um, dry cleaned them up and they're beautiful. And they the the lining inside is gorgeous. Like I'm so excited to wear these. How would you wear these? I'm thinking I'm just gonna wear the pants, high waisted pants, and a really nice just black button down or something, a black shirt. Let me know how you would wear vintage wool plaid pants. All right. And then I don't know. I see YouTubers who thrift put the hats on in the store um, before they buy them so they don't wash them first. And that creeps me out. It really creeps me out. If you've ever had a child with lice or ever had lice yourself, it definitely creeps me out. So I wash them. I take the chance that it might look cute. And this is the first time I'm putting it on. I suppose if I do my hair a different way, Oh, that's adorable. Oh, that's cute. Oh, that's mine. Mm, mm, mm. So I paid like $2 for it. And it's got the little velvet. That was a good chance that I took. It's got the little velvet hearts there that ended up drying really nice. Not hearts, bows. That ended up drying really nice. I'm really happy about that. And then I went scarf crazy. This one's super soft. So now that I live in a cold wind weather area. I have this, and I don't know, Preston and York, does anybody know where that comes from? Um, but it's going to be super warm and awesome. This might be something I give to my sister. So she's been trying to lose weight, and she's doing awesome. She's never been a huge workout person. Now she just loves it. So this is kind of like she could wear it for workout, or she could wear it just chill, but it's a great brand. It's J. Jill. So um, it's just this gorgeous pink color, so we'll see if she likes that. I never, I don't think I've heard of Just Be, but I really like the quilting kind of look on the side there. So hopefully what this will do, it will help the legs look slimmer because it's a different color and pattern coming in. Got this for my niece. She is... Um, very eclectic style. She's like 13. <laughs> it looks like they're little soda drinks um, or boba teas, something like that. So super cute. Another beautiful shawl. This was so fun. Look at this. I don't know what I'm going to use it for. It might end up being a housewares thing. Uh, it, I don't know if I get into scarves or something, but it I just thought it was so pretty, the colors. You could tell it was hand done, no um, labels on it or anything, very neat. Hound's tooth, super soft scarf. Animal print, super soft scarf. This one just says love on it and it's pink and white. That might become a part of the gift for my sister. This one's neat, and I'm not a huge flannel fan, as you guys may know, but this would be a way for me to be in style, to wear a little bit of flannel. I can still wear it maybe to work, uh, but without wearing an actual flannel shirt. So I look forward to sporting that. This is another one of those pairs of pants that although it's a summer pair of pants, when you find it, you buy it. Uh, it's a Chico's. I'm a size two, so 14, 16 is about a size two, and they're practically brand new, and they're just going to be really nice, light summer spring pants. Along with, I love a good billowy pant. Uh, so this one has a little bit of elastic, little give in it, so it'll sit nice. It's just a nice striped pant. Um, a GB, so I think that's a Dillard's brand, and it came with 
a belt. So that'll be really nice in the spring because it's a lighter weight. This, again, another hat originally from Target that I'm like, yep, it's got to be washed. I'm not a huge fan of the ball on top because that's just not me. <laughs> uh, but I will take a chance and try to take it off without ruining the hat. This vintage jacket I certainly took a chance on because on the bottom, you see all the layers are kind of coming apart on the bottom. And the original... Uh, warm insulation stuff in there was literally falling apart so I had to wash it by itself and the water turned like orange because that's the color uh, it was but it ended up just coming out just so beautiful it's like a cotton like a felt um, feel to it it's got all its buttons I don't know what that brand was but it does have the union tag on it so that is another way that I know uh, that it's vintage don't know what year it says to dry clean only which clearly I did not but it washed up beautifully and I'm really happy with it and I'm really excited to try it so I have gone wild buying coats to say the least this whoop, this skirt I feel like do you ever buy stuff at the thrift store and you're like I'm pretty sure I've bought that before and then I donated it and I might actually be repurchasing the same one I actually donated. This might be one of those because I feel like I've had this before. It's a LuLaRoe and I didn't wear it in the past and I, I think I donated it. So now we're going to give it another go. I don't know. Whatever. I Hopefully it'll all work out. This is a nice fuzzy, what do they call it? An eternity scarf or something because it can go on for eternity because, yeah, mm-hmm. That's why it's called an eternity scarf. Ugh, I need a break for some coffee. What shows have has everybody been watching right now? I've been watching Bridgertons and of course all my YouTubers that I follow. What else? Oh, Cobra Kai just started WandaVision. What's everybody watching? Because you know, when I'm spilling coffee on myself and breastfeeding, I need to have something to watch. And I love watching my YouTubers. Sometimes you just want like a storyline and a show. So I'm just curious what everybody's been watching. And then last, just a pretty gold skirt, which might, I wonder if that would go, would that go with the shirt? Would that be a little much? Doesn't matter if it's a little much, it's me. You expect a little much. Next, let's talk about housewares that I was lucky enough to find. I was lucky enough to find a beautiful harvest set um, from the home and garden party uh, and it's so nicely wrapped up and I'm not going to use it till next fall that we're just going to leave it all nice and wrapped along with uh, this adorable snow globe my daughter my kids are going to love it and then they also don't have to touch it and possibly break it because they're to toddlers this purse was the piece de resonance. Is that how you say it? I don't know. Uh, and I usually don't look at the designer bags because I really can't tell if they're designer or not. Um, and I really don't care. I'm not a huge designer purse fan. But I saw this. I saw this one. And it was just beautiful blue. It's in really good condition. And then I saw that it was a Vera Bradley. No, that is a big step up from what I used to buy the Charming Charlie purses. It was beautiful and clean inside. It was marked for $40, but it was half off day, so I got it for $20. I'm very excited uh, to, to use that one. It's a beautiful color. And then some of the other housewares I got. I don't know exactly what I'm going to do with this, but I just thought it was so pretty. Um, what are you supposed to do with this? Does anybody know? Or was that a part of something and then it broke and the person just donated that part. I gotta wash it up. I gotta do the old Dawn and bleach method. I just kind of soak it and it just naturally, I don't have to scrub it or anything. So once we do that, it's gonna look awesome. Uh, but what would you do with this? How would you style that? What would you do with the glass lily flower? This is so throwback. Anybody remember the show Mood Lighting? moonlighting right and 
I don't know what I would put in there, like reeds or something or lotus flowers. Remember how that was like the really big thing? Uh, 80s and 90s, lovely. I just thought it was such a cool looking piece. I will figure out how to get it worked into the decor. I love love. I mean, I think love is an understatement. Love cheese. And I think that's what you're supposed to put on this. It's beautiful. It's signed. Um, fill the pack, 1997. And the cheese in there. And it's, look at the top. Look at the lid. Isn't that neat? Put the cheese in there and the cheese is covered. So pretty. Oh, I still have more. We have this. This is super heavy. Now, this is definitely something that I feel like you would see in the movie Cocktail with Tom Cruise or something like so old school. But I think I'm going to end up, I like the patina, the feeling on it, um, but I might end up doing something to spray over it, but still keep that feel to it so that it'll be a little bit more updated. Uh, but I really like it. I don't know what I'm going to do with it. What would you do with this? So in your home, what would you do with this? Would you spray paint it? What color? What would you put inside of it? What flowers? Do you do fake flowers? I want to know that. So that's something I'm trying to learn. Like if you do fake flowers, is there a way to make them look not fake and terrible and dusty? Uh, so what do you do about that? <laughs> So I know this kind of style is all the rage right now. This is what, not me, but. I'm sure I have some nieces that will just absolutely love it once I take all the dust off it. Question of the day. So if you don't buy underwear at the thrift store, which I never recommend, do you buy pantyhose at the thrift store? Because some women wear pantyhose without underwear. And if you do buy pantyhose, do you only buy them brand new? What do you do? I only buy them brand new, still in the package. You can tell when it, you pull pantyhose out of the package or when you're buying it, you can tell if somebody has ever taken them out of the package. You can tell if it's completely sealed like these kinds are or if they're still folded nicely in there. That's the only way I purchase my pantyhose at a thrift store. You can tell that they've never been taken out of the package. I have bought vintage, never out of the package, probably from the 60s, beautiful colored tights before, put them on and they were so old, they literally, like they were itchy. And I was like, why are they itchy? So the second I put them on, I took them right off realized they were so old, they were like disintegrating on me. They were not bugs, they were disintegrating on me. So be a little cautious about that. But for what ends up being a dollar, what, 75 cents, cause it was half off. Um, if that happens, just throw them away, obviously. So cute, we had corgis growing up, so could not pass this up. Might be a gift to my mom just for fun. And then last, I wanna say last, yeah, last one. There's this. Oh, it's a Norman Rockwell. And he's sitting there waiting to have his puppy seen by the veterinarian. And he's just so cute. I can clean up this frame or get a new frame, but I just thought it was so sweet. Wait, hold up. I found more. I totally forgot about an entire bag. Like this cute little hat that I got for the summer. I'm an Ohio State grad, so I found in one of the tchotchke bags, this guy. I just got a new office, and although this is supposed to be a ch -ch 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 chia pet, there's nothing left in there for a chia pet, but I think I'm just going to turn it into a vase or put a succulent in there or something, paint it. That'll be fun. Something for Christmas. It totally looks like a goblet, but I think I'm supposed to put candy in it. And then there was this. I have no idea. I have no idea why we need a shovel bottle opener. Maybe you give it to your mortician friend or somebody who wants to, who likes to dig up the dirt. I, I, but 
it was cool enough to eventually give to somebody as a gag gift or something. I don't know. But maybe they're a gardener. Let's be positive. Maybe they're a gardener and they're like, you give them some wine too that's called cheap dirt. I don't know. So now that's all of it. Make sure and subscribe. See you next Wednesday.